Before we proceed, let me ask you, to turn on your video captions. Ready? Great. I am sure, you have read about, the notorious watcher, who stalked the owners, of 657 Boulevard, when they bought it from the woods, in the year 2014. According to one theory, the prime suspect, is the former owner, Derek Broadus, himself. We will explain this in a bit. But let's quickly have a look, at some of the striking similarities, in the writing styles, used by Derek, and by the store car, of 657 Boulevard. According to people who have followed this case for years, these similarities, are big red flags. All of these posts, and writings, are available in the public domain, even today. Anyone can go, and cross-check these, anytime. People from Westfield believe, that Derek intentionally sent a letter, to a random house in his block, to intentionally misguide, investigators. He also spent money on furnishing his house, because that expense, was peanuts, as compared to the huge royalty, that his family, was going to get, from an interested movie production company, such as Netflix, for commercial rights to their scary story. Derek's Twitter and LinkedIn accounts, show, that he is not a scared person, or an unusually timid guy. He writes with confidence, and has strong opinions, on various topics, ranging from politics, to mental health. In fact, he has been working, as the vice president, of a big company, for more than a decade. Some people say, that big people, like to catch big fish. The second suspect, according to many, is presumably a realtor, who knew details, about the family, and about 657 Boulevard. So how exactly, would the realtor, have benefited from this? Well, that's easy. By creating a scary, but fully fictitious story, about a stalker, the realtor, brought down the price of the house, by nearly $400,000. Then, the realtor, took his or her cut from the pre-identified prospective buyer, who could only afford to pay $900,000, plus the realtor's cut, for a house, that was valued at $1.3 million. It is not clear, whether the Westfield Police Department, has interrogated, the current owners of this property, or the realtors, who helped finalize the purchase, and sale, of this property. The third suspect, is presumably a person, in his 50s or 60s, who lives on the same block, and who hates kids. This person, presumably used to work, or stay here, several decades ago, but had to leave suddenly, owing to unfortunate circumstances. So that's why, he or she, is emotionally attached, to 657 Boulevard. But why does this person, dislike kids so much? Well, as we all know, kids sometimes damage, the interiors of houses. This person, is perhaps allergic, to the presence of kids, for this very reason. That's why, neither the former owners, nor the latter, got any mails, from the watcher, as neither of them, had any small children. What do you think, is the truth, behind this story? Do let us know, in the comments section below. If we come across, a really smart comment, we will include it, in our next video, based on the same story. Hope you enjoyed listening, to this story. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and donate, to see more such unsolved mysteries.